is me, Gary, with the T, and yes, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. You know why? Because I have a new neighbor, honey. I'm tired of living in the damn projects, honey, so I said, the hell with that. So I decided to get up and move, honey, and I'm moving by people, honey, where I can might make some money around and whip, because they got a lot of money. But anyway, though, y'all, honey, I know, um, you know, there's a lot been going on, honey, from this week, y'all, people been, honey, shooting, fighting, killing, and doing all this other stuff, honey. But you know, we're going to have a beautiful day because you know what? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I have a special guest today, honey, that I love dearly. And I'm sure you all love as well. So without further ado, but let me, let me just say, you know, she's, a, a, she's an award-winning actress, musician, um, 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 entrepreneur. Some people say entrepreneur, but no, she's an entrepreneur. And honey, just some of all of that good stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together, honey, for my friend and yours, the lovely, the beautiful, the talented Miss Candy Burris Tucker. Hello. What's up, Gary? Hey, Candy. Good. Let me take you know my glasses. I well, I can see far, but I can't yeah. see close. So God, and I got my cute glasses, and I gotta take them off because honey, I have to see you, honey. So Candy, how you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing fine, honey. First of all, like I said, I want to thank you, honey, for stopping by and for coming on because honey, you didn't have to. And you did just for me, honey. And I really, really appreciate it. Well, you know, you my boy. And I've been saying for the longest I was going to do this with you. So I was like, I got to make it happen. Yeah, and I'm glad you did, too. I know last week you was out of town. Yeah, girl, you, you was on the real. I'm like, that's why she couldn't come on my show, baby. This girl's on the real, honey. <laughs> Candy, yeah. you, you do so much. You know what? I mean... I think a lot of us have a lot of dreams and different things that we like yes. to do, but it's I just actually go after everything. Who is your manager, girl? You got a damn good manager. Is that um one? That's crazy. Oh. Well, um, Don Juan is the GM of my company. Um, mm -hmm. he runs my company, and then I have my agent Nick um, Roses. But that's it. This is so Nick, the one who gets all these jobs. Um, between Nick and Don Juan, yeah. Oh, honey, I need to call them, child, because, I mean, what you need to do, girl, honey, you need to produce me, get some money off of me, bitch. I don't mind you making no money off of me, but let me get out and do some of these things. And I'm like, girl, I, I just, I don't have a manager. I have a, a, somebody, a publicist, but I don't know, but they don't, I mean, that's not really getting me a job. I need somebody to give me some jobs. Because, well, honey, maybe you get an agent. An agent can help get you some jobs. Yeah, maybe I need to, but you need to tell me who's the agent. Cause you know, I don't know. My problem is Nick. Nick is the Nick. agent. Oh girl, we need to call Nick, honey. You need to let Nick No, I'm calling him. When we get off, you're gonna give me his number if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, I'll you know some that. people don't like to share. I ain't giving you my people and stuff, honey. Cause hell, oh, I need to okay. talk to Nick, honey, because I'm like, I, I could do a lot and I've done a lot, but you know, when I first moved here, I was kinda it's a whole nother story, so we ain't gonna go there. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, honey, I'm calling Nick, honey. So, Candy, all right, girl, so, girl, we're going to just get started with, let's just go ahead and get this out the way, honey. Let's just talk about what everybody talking about, honey. What is uh, everybody talking about? I've girl, talking what's this? So girl, these last few months. Will Smith, honey, and Nick, I mean, and, oh. um, and honey, what's his name? Go poke Chris Rock. What you think about that, Candy? Um, You know, I don't know. I got mixed feelings about it. You know, it's so funny. I am a huge fan of Will Smith. Um, I just kind of felt like maybe that wasn't the place for that. Like, if he wanted yes. to catch him outside, catch him in the back. Uh, something. You know, I mean, I just felt like that wasn't the place for it. Just mainly because um, I feel like a lot of great things got overshadowed. Girl, by... everything got overshadowed. Yeah. yeah. We didn't even know what's his name. Um, Quest Love. We didn't even know he won an Oscar. I don't even know well, who won I an did, Oscar. because I was watching. I was, well, listen, honey, I was flipping back and forth. I was watching that a little bit and then going to my own show, Candy in the Game. Hey, definitely. I swear to God, Candy, I had to watch your damn show. I was watching your show. I was going Thank back you. and forth. Girl, you know, I watch it every Sunday. I was going back and forth. I'm like, well, hell, I don't know what to watch. I mean, when the commercial break would come on, I would go yeah. to and I'm like, hell, and then I eventually must have fell asleep. So. Yeah, so I, I did see when Quest Love won his award, which I thought that was beautiful. You know, he got an award for what was that? Um, Summer of Soul or something? Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, he got an award for that, which I thought was amazing because I love Quest Love too. And then I love the fact that Will Packer and um, his team, they were producing the Oscars. Yeah. And, and it was a really great show. And then this was uh, Will's first time winning. But yeah, and you're acting a damn nobody, donkey. And <laughs> nobody's even thinking about his win. They only keep talking about the slap. Yeah, but wait a minute, Ken. Now you didn't say what I you didn't say nothing about Chris. You don't like Chris? No, I love Chris. I think Chris. Well, is say hilarious. something about him. Give him love, honey. I feel bad for Chris. <laughs> 
No, I no, mean, I feel bad for Chris. But this is what I have to say about Chris. I feel like Chris handled that beautifully. Like beautifully. I don't think, I don't think anybody could have held Nobody. that composure like Chris did. Nobody. So I had to give him a million points for that because at the end of the day, people can say what they want, but he's a comedian. And most of those jokes, don't they get ran through production? So That's they what they know. said. I heard yeah. that the, uh, people wrote so, the jokes for him, probably. Right. So I don't think it's fair to like put all the blame on him about the joke. It's like, you know, no, I see people. We can't put that. no blame on him. I'm sorry, but, Candace, no blame. Right. But my thing is, at the end of the day, he handled that beautifully because if he would have retaliated and we would have seen Ooh. two black men brawling. Yes, ma'am, baby. Oscars, right. That would have been a whole mess. A so whole I'm, mess. I am grateful that he held himself and handled it the way he did. And then he didn't even really stumble for real. So I guess he didn't do nothing. He I'm just up. took the liquor. That's why you know if it was real or not. He took the liquor and just like turned and he, went on, baby, to do it. A professional. Honey, he took the lick, licking and kept on kicking. Honey. He was a Timex bitch. He was a Timex <laughs> wife. He was a the... Yes. But Candy, <laughs> but let me tell you something, though, honey. Chris evidently, honey, is not a, 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 a hood Negro. Because a hood Negro would have knocked the hell out of Will Smith, baby. They would have been fighting. They yeah, would have been fighting, would've. honey. Yeah, I think um, Chris done been on the other side for too long to get, yeah. get, get with the hood ways. I mean, exactly. He knows, he knows his check is too much. Because you got to think about this. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm growing up to get to that mental level as well for myself. Mm. Because, you know, we all, you know, come from... You yeah, know, humble, from, beginnings. humble beginnings. Exactly. And we all, you know, had those moments where we be wanting to like pop off or whatever. Yep. But you got to remember, it's like so much involved in that. He has a whole tour that's coming. He has yep. so many things, probably sponsorships and different things that he don't yep. want to lose. So he like, you know what? You ain't worth me losing my check. You know what I mean? Which, speaking of, they say that his ticket sales went up. Yeah, they went up. And girl, he had the Fox Beach. They say it's sold out. Because you know, he having a show here at the Fox in July. Child, I, and I'm so mad because I want to see it too. Because I show, I know he is oh. gonna go in about girl, this moment. He, he needs to go in, honey. But girl, it's just interesting though. But I was just like, Lord, and then somebody was saying too. Um, Chris thought about he carried the whole black community on his shoulders. Had he had act a donkey like Will did, honey, it would have been a, a humiliating thing. And you know already they don't want y'all asses at the Oscars anyway. So they take, <laughs> take that mess to the damn Soul Train Awards. Don't bring that here. But honey, we brought it there. And there well, I, you think, have it. I think the, the issue with that is, you know, a lot of us in the public eye, we hate when we have to feel like we have to carry the whole race on. I people. know. People don't do that to other races. Like, if no. A white man, they ain't going to say, oh, he made the whole white race look Exactly. Bad. You know, so. Yeah, um, so I think but... that's unfair. But I will say, you know, Chris did an amazing job in how he handled that. Yes, he did. And this is what hurts my spirit because, you know, I've, I've met both of them, interviewed both of them. Girl, nobody talked about Chris. Ain't nobody tried to go interview Chris, damn it. And, you know, Chris faded to black. Girl, after that happened, we ain't I seen nothing else did. from him. But I think he probably doing that on purpose. Because, yeah. you know, he's not comment. I think he just like, you know what, I'm not even going to comment. I didn't press charges. I'm going to move on and just let try to let this die. You know, some people don't want to feed the flames, you know? Yeah. Well, he ain't going to be honey. What pissed me off, how dare Will go to the damn after party and party like it was 1999. <laughs> and he said, what kind of message? You need to go your ass home, honey. I wanted him to go home. <laughs> you go to a party? Uh, he said, hey, it's over. I did it now. Ain't no need to cry about it. You know, ain't nothing <laughs> I can do. Lord, I really enjoy my night. I still won. Yeah, you won, damn it, but it's just like you didn't win, honey. So, cause ain't nobody trying to do that, honey. And you know, we a lot of people saying, "Baby Jada," when she gave him that look, she said, "Look, you bastard, but get your ass up there." And after he cut that laugh off, baby, and she gave him that look, he went up on that damn stage, honey, cause Miss Jada was gonna beat his ass. I'll have August have oh, Cena come get God. him. So. Oh. <laughs> You ain't right. You ain't right. Honey, baby, August, honey, he trying to, he wrote a poem now, girl. He got some kind of damn poem out. Nobody understands what he's saying, honey. What? He got yeah. some mess, some big mess, child. But anyway, it was a sad moment, though, y'all. And I mean, but, you know, I, 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 I promise you can't, I don't even like to look at it. And, you know, they, they play it every day. I don't like to look at that hit. It just, it does something to me. I just don't like it. 
You yeah, know, I but, see. You're really mad about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and I like Chris. Chris is a comedian. Damn it, this is what comedians do. Ain't nobody said nothing about Amy Schumer and all of Joe's baby. She was letting them have it, honey, but ain't nobody said nothing all about them. All three of them were. Regina was going. And yes. that's what I, now, now that's the only thing I have to say. Like, to me, his joke, I get it. You know, some people were like, he was supposed to know. Honestly, I didn't even know that um, she suffered from alopecia. I didn't know that. <laughs> Nobody yeah, damn I, knew it. Like, I be looking at the blogs all the time, so I must have missed that one. But. Must have missed it. Like, she put a damn, put it on the flagpole and let everybody know. Because if you got alopecia, her daughter got it too, because they both wearing bald heads. They were both doing it together. I don't say that. I guess maybe she's supporting them. I don't know. I don't uh -huh. even know the story behind it. But my whole thing is, it's like, comedians take jabs at people's, you know, shortcomings all the time. All the time. Like, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, a health issue, or yeah, your yeah. hair, your looks, your yes. whatever. They people, comedians, that's what they do. And so my thing is, are we going to just going to be able to go slap every comedian that gets on stage you. and come at us? Uh, nah, thank you. So, honey, that's what it seemed like. So, but it's just a mixture. You know, we living in a society, Candy, where we got to be very PC, honey. You cannot say nothing about this. You can't say gays. You can't say this. You can't say that. You're going to get canceled, honey. You're going to get canceled. <laughs> Let me tell you something, girl, honey. And you know, honey, I live an alternative lifestyle. I don't talk nothing about gay people because I ain't got time for all that Wait. mess. To be Yes, can you can't talk about your own team? Uh, well, in certain instances, because let me tell you something. You know, these queens, honey, because the queens today, honey, are totally different from the queens when I was coming out, honey. Right. These girls today, bitch, everybody want a damn reality show. So these girls coming out, honey, with wigs and pumps and all that other stuff. When I was coming out, bitch, we all want to be pretty. So we dress nice and look nice. Well, now, honey, it's a whole different genre of girls. So mm. I just my leave that alone. Used to like to put, well, I had an uncle who used to like to put on a wig every now and then. Yeah, <laughs> he well, was honey. older than you, bro. <laughs> well, we put on. I used to we, girl, we used to put a towel on our head. So well, and thought I we think had everybody hair. is different, you know. You yeah. you know you can't just put you know all you can't clump everybody in one thing. But yeah, yes, everybody's everybody different. But Candy, we're living in a society, honey, where you still, honey, have to um when you in Rome do like the Romans do. If I was uh, one of these. Flaming punks, honey. Like these girls going, oh, this stink girl. Right, right, right. Wait, do you, I, do you that, think I would? Allowed to say that word? <laughs> yes, bitch. I can say that, honey. Yes, ma'am. Good, this is, honey. We can say what you can say whatever you want to say, honey, on this podcast. Oh, but if God. I was to do that, if I was to act like that, Candy, do you think I would have? I would still be in radio? No, because you got to remember, honey. When I work with heterosexual men, you have to govern yourselves accordingly. And these men like their That's gayness not in doses. True. Yes, it damn it. There, yeah. there are people in radio. Um, what was that? A uh, Miss Sophia. Where she, she at? One hundred three for a long. Where she at? She was there for a very long time. Uh, 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 you're missing the point. Like I just said, <laughs> if I was, honey, one of those type of girls that's still carrying on, girl, you got to still govern yourself accordingly because you are still working with these heterosexual men that still have their lifestyle, and you cannot put impede your lifestyle on theirs. So you got to, honey act accordingly. So if I was acting all flaming and all that stuff like some of these girls, not saying no name, but some of these girls, girl, I wouldn't have a job still. I think the thing is, I think maybe that was the way it was, you know, that, in your was. era of growing yeah, up. It's, it now, was. It it's was. a whole new regime. Well, hell, we know that, honey. Yes. Hell, we see I, your show. Hell, you got the girls yeah, they just being, And you Listen, just liberated. Have... You're a girl. You're that type of girl. You don't mind the girls being gay and free, honey, because you're a woman. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not even just being a woman. Like, on my show, we have straight men on the show. We have some yep. gay men on the show. We have some masculine gay men, and we have some feminine gay men. Um, yeah. You know, and there's some that just don't like to be put in a box, so they may come with a wig one day and another. <laughs> you know, so it's just like, to me, and, and this ain't, this wasn't had nothing to do with the show. This, it's just the fact that's how, that you know, they are every day, and we've been, we've been a family on, you know, for the last five years. A lot of them have worked that old lady gang or whatever. And that's just, you know, that old lady gang, everybody is welcome to be who they are. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, the men I worked with, Russ Paul, Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley. Um, I were, uh, if I would go to work, girl, coming up there looking like that, honey, honey, girl, ain't no way in hell I would Ricky still have my job. It. So you see, so there you have it, honey. So ain't no way in hell. So, girl, I have to govern myself accordingly and just okay. um, do me or whatever. But anyway, um, we were with y'all. But yeah, so anyway, so that's, you know, so th th that's just, you know, how that is and what have you and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, we're in a PC society, so we got to be 
Very PC, honey. And, and, you know, like I said, now with your show, and like I said, you're more liberated. You let the girls be themselves, be free, honey, have a good time and stuff like that. And that's yep. good. And and that's one of the good parts of the show that I like about it, too. But now, mm-hmm. since, we, uh, since we own the show, that damn Philip guy, he's so stiff until, honey, he works my damn nerve. I didn't know he was gay, honey, until I did the introduction. I'm On like, oh, episode. no wonder. No you wonder he no didn't wonder. Yeah, because I'm... So just because he gave me that's that's supposed to be stiff, I'm confused. Well, no, because this is the deal. Because some people, like, I watch him, because, you know, because, I mean, until I found out. But he's the type of person to give me, like, you know, y'all, honey, over here. Y'all these flaming girls over here. <laughs> I'm over here the type that don't want to be known because I'm going to be stiff and I'm going to be just, you know, govern myself accordingly. But I would have never known, honey, until the, you know, I get the introduction. Up. He... Brought his boyfriend on the show on the second episode. So yeah, that's what I know. He is that, very comfortable in who he is. No, that's like, what I found out. He don't yeah. play no games, though. He Yeah, he, he really sure damn don't, honey. He like, honey, like, if you want to tell them damn girls, you sit your ass down, honey. He ready to fire every damn body. And you come along, honey, and um don't. Well, because, Candy, you two mother. Oh, they're my friends. They've been here since the beginning. <laughs> Fill up like, I don't give a damn. Y'all need to go. Because, Candy, you can't let these people run your show like that. They can't run the damn restaurant to their honey. They need to act accordingly. Well, and he yeah, don't like I mean, that. I get what you're saying, but this is what I be trying to explain to people. Like, I don't know if y'all realize, but the last two years, it's been hard to get people to come to work. Isn't so to sad? me, for the people who have been coming and still been there consistently, like, you can't run a business if you ain't got no employee. So I for, know me, that. for them to stick, stick with us, even through the hard times, I'm like, you can't just drop them when you got somebody else that's now that now other people trying to come in and replace them. You want to just drop them and not work with them. Like it's been very intense. So yeah, they was like off the chain, but they just need to get back on get back in line. Yeah, and Todd don't play that shit neither. He just like yeah. Philip, he like, uh uh-uh, uh, you all honey. Well, I'm like, Candy. Yeah. Oh, honey, you, and I understand, you know, and it is hard to find people to work nowadays, but no, but y'all gotta get it together, though, honey. You know, y'all I mean you know, Miss Kamisha or whatever the one was that used to go with your nephew. He, uh, uh, your, I mean, Chandrika. Miss Chandria, honey. I mean, that's fine, honey, and stuff like that. But girl, no girl, you got to, you know, y'all got to kind of, you know, get it together, though, honey. But it's all good. It was sad, She's though, honey. She's doing much better now. Really? Now it was sad <laughs> with um, what's her name? The one with the wig, honey. Um, Brian. Brian. Oh, that was a sad story. Bless his soul, honey. You know, with his yeah. alcohol problem and stuff, and that's good. He's getting that together. And stuff, honey. But um, uh, it's really I really like the show. It's a really good show. Me and my um friend Shell, honey, it's a Sunday appointment. Cause shit, we ain't got nothing on TV to watch. So we like. Let me tell you, it. this coming Sunday gonna be the funniest episode that I've played yet. Yeah, cause y'all be playing two at a time. You know, for yeah. the last week and the current week and stuff. So yeah. So yeah. next this coming weekend, a new episode. Uh huh. Hilarious. Oh and lord. Now the funniest one yet. Yeah, I like, and you know, I don't talk about um, men or anything like that because that's not what I do. But your um, cousin, your nephew, he is a nice looking guy, though. He is cute, Thank though. Thank you. But he's a character. You know, <laughs> he's going to bring his damn new woman, honey, and prop her up and things like that, honey. Make that girl jealous, honey. But Evadina, she still have feelings for him because, honey, she was talking about it. You know? Ooh, please <laughs> don't say that because you know she got a new man, honey. She, she going to get in trouble. Don't do that to her. Okay, well, girl, honey, you need to, um, who was it? Somebody did you better act like you know. But well, anyway, so Candy also girl, move, so now, like so we were talking about earlier now, you being on um the real and stuff. That I love your look. I love the little bob, honey. I love the, the nice um earth tone dress and shoes you was wearing and stuff. I'm like, all right, baby, Miss Candy, honey, getting up there, baby, doing it up in things, honey, <laughs> looking like more money. So how Ooh. was that? <laughs> how was a that? Lot coming from you, yeah, uh, it, was, child. it was a really great experience. I actually um film two episodes with them the other one is gonna i believe here like on my birthday on may 17th yeah. but um yeah like we did a couple episodes together and it was really cool i always have fun when i go sit with them yeah well that's good so it was really nice and stuff but uh, uh, this question can i mean how do you count all your money do you what? trust people? Because I don't trust people, girl. <laughs> Bernie Madoff stole all their damn money. And look at how Steve Harvey said his um accountant, honey, took all his money. And so, I mean, you know. Yeah, can, well, it's you? a big difference. See, yeah, you're right. I don't trust people either. Um, oh. And I have a very good reason for not trusting people. When our group was um, teenagers, our first accountant, they stole from us. They had stole like $100,000 or something crazy like that. And yeah. um, 
you know, after that, I've always, you know, was weird about that. So now as an adult, I think since I was in my twenties, really, I stopped allowing accountants to just have full access to my account to write checks. I write all my checks. So if you mm-hmm. get a check from me, it's signed by me. Um, mm-hmm. I don't, um, I don't allow accountants to be able to write bills out of my account. So, cause that's how they're able to get you. Cause they able to write whatever, you don't know exactly. what's going in and out. So now, you know, they'll just send me the list of the things that need to get paid, and then I'll write them out and send them out. I know that's damn right, honey, because I don't even have no dog on money, but I'm like, oh, no, ma'am. My account be like, well, Gary, let me, you are, uh-uh. No, I look at yeah. my bank account every morning, and honey, no, every check to be Not every yes, morning. Ma'am. Girl, every ex evil, honey. I be sitting there, she was like, golly, shit, ain't, ain't nothing changed in it. I'm like, but still, I'm watching it, honey. And I look at it every morning, honey, honey, and check to see what went out and what came in. Because, girl, no, ma'am, you're not about to take my little penny's hair. Uh-uh, hard as I work for it. No, honey, that ain't happening, child. So I got to count <laughs> my own coins, honey. I okay? feel you. Mm-hmm. So Candace, so all right, so also, so Candace, what's going on with Candace? So what's next happening with Candace? I mean, because girl, you got so much stuff going on, honey. I was watching Real Housewives um last week, and they were showing the play. You remember when you did the play? Oh yeah. They, they showed that they were showing the play, honey, at the um R- Rialto. I said, oh, I remember mm-hmm. that was there. So, but yeah, oh, I got a I got a new announcement coming soon. I can't drop. I can't. Put that one out there today, but um, the new Housewives trailer dropped today. Did you see that? Oh yeah, and girl, now what's this? Is it a peach? Is it crystal? Because it don't look like the girl holding a peach. Um, huh? um, what's her name? Kenyon. No, everybody had a peach. Well, I thought it was something crystal looking. Uh, it, it oh, child, looking, I, don't, I don't know. No, you saw that on her page. That was from the other. Yeah, she was at a different photo shoot. No, I mean they oh. they dropped the actual um season fourteen official um. Yeah trailer today oh yeah so who's all on it honey okay so well and, oh well, wait up before yeah. you go i'm a, <laughs> what is wrong with you and marlo oh my god <laughs> i you know what she tried me this year she came for me they show you know and i told everybody that we had this big blow up argument which the argument that we actually that i'm referring to they don't show that in the trailer. So I'm less like, they must gonna put that in the mid-season trailer. But they show a different argument that she had, mm-hmm. she and I had in this clip. So I don't know why me and Marlo was bumping heads. But won't y'all honest. freeze once upon a time? I mean, I thought we was cool, but you know, we we uh I mean, and we cool now, don't get me wrong. Like we mm-hmm. had a real uh messed up blow up argument. Yeah. But but smoothed it over. Yeah, it smoothed over later. Cause I'm like, Marlo, don't mess with Candy Girl for um airtime, bitch. Just cause I like her too. So, but just, yeah. just you know, whatever and stuff. Though. No, I mean, she she was trying me, child. She was coming for me. I don't yeah, know why. I bet you those girls, baby. And I'm just saying, I don't know nobody money but mine, and I don't even know mine. Those girls that was on there, honey, letting them checks go by like that, girl. Huh? I guess I, I, <laughs> I ain't seeing no more TV shows. <laughs> You are a mess. I am not even getting into that. I'm not going there with you, Gary, with the T. I ain't seen no motion. Mm, I guess because somebody moved, honey, the bucket, honey. So. I ain't talking to you about nobody. No oh, I'm not going to try to get you to talk to nobody. But anyway. So what's going on? So what we at, honey? Um, what's happening? We can't. Okay, so you said you got some new projects coming along. You oh, know, you got yeah, the yeah. restaurants. Yeah, okay, so yes, we have the restaurants. We're actually going to be doing some newer restaurants, so we got that. Right. Um, I have actually two new announcements coming, so I got to wait till they tell me we can talk about it. But oh. uh, Escape, we um got some shows coming up. Um, You know, we were performing at that big festival here in Atlanta that Mary J. Blige is doing yeah. on Mother's oh, Day yeah. weekend. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, The Strength of a Woman, yeah, um festival so we're doing that and we're doing a festival in vegas so oh. yeah child i'm trying to do some of everything honey. i say why you don't you you don't get tired you don't look like you be tired but good do you not get tired i do get tired but you know you got to get it while you can get it but that's what they say but what you gonna do with the money after you get it yeah you got everything you want i'm sure that's what i um, often wonder about y'all rich people what like open them have all that money okay what can you get what can you you got everything and if you retire, you can get retirement. Well, I don't think we have everything. I feel like every time you you reach a level, 
you want to reach the next level. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's like a drug. Like, huh? You want, it's hi, not hi, even hi. a drug. It's just, you know, I just got dreams and I'm, ne- I'm never going to stop being a dreamer. If it's you not crazy, I mean? what was your ultimate dream, Candy? Um, To get the EGOT, which is Emmy, oh, Grammy, really? Oscar, right? Tony. So yeah. I got a long ways to go. I got this Grammy. I need to get an Emmy and an Oscar and a Tony, honey. And I'm yeah. working on that Tony. I'm working yeah. on that Tony. We're going to do yeah. one of Tyler Perry plays. You can get a private uh, a grant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have produced uh, Thoughts of a Colored Man that was on Broadway this past fall and winter. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm praying that they... um. Nominated, this it, nom- it nominated for this uh, Tony season. So we'll yeah, see. I remember that you were in Broadway doing that exactly. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. that's good. I mean, so you just but see, you know, that's how I go. Look, you said I remember you was doing. It. See, here's how I go. See, this is what I tell everybody: everything that you work on to, or that you're successful in today, or that people see today, mm-hmm. is what you worked on yesterday, what you worked on last year, and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. So if you are not constantly working on something right now, then you ain't gonna have nothing to come next. You see how almost you almost already done forgot about the play that exactly. I have. But hell, you do so you much. Gotta keep it, but you gotta keep it going, or else you get stuck in the moment. Be like, oh yeah, she used to do this, or she used to do that. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. To... And you know, black folks are used to people, honey. We used to, yeah, honey. What? And, and my we ain't um, used to. No, my cousin told me a long time ago. She said, "Used to bees don't make no honey, so don't nobody care what you used to be." I was like, oh. <laughs> but I tell you, all right, that, baby. That's for me. I said, oh, I'm keeping that. That's she right, honey. Right there, she go. She told me something that never, it never left me, and I was like, she is so right because it, people get so caught up into, oh, I used to be to this. I used yes, to this. exactly. I used to be like, don't nobody give a damn because we on to the next. Ain't that something? People don't give a damn about what you used to be because girl, we see a lot of used to be people. Girl, she used to be a badass singer. Now, girl, this girl walking around, honey, looking for a fo- some food to eat. Oh, uh, she used to be a bad bitch. Yes, she's looking like she oh, done oh, fell off. Seen, yeah, we've seen a lot of that's. You know, Duncan, that's what makes me scared. That's why I always say, if red once radio and TV is over with me, I say, bitch, I'm fading to black. I just, I, I, I just, I don't know, cause I just, I don't know. I just think I'm a fade to black. I'm gonna just go back home to my hometown, honey, and just live, honey, and probably, um, substitute teacher, I'll do something, honey. But I don't, I, I don't, just, I don't, I don't want to be the, you know. You don't want to do anything else. I don't know. It's just, I don't, I don't know if I want to be the used to be person or no, anything see, like that. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why you gotta constantly be working on your next move while you're in your current move. Cause yeah. that's like, I mean, look at me. What if people like? What if I just would have stopped at the escape head? Exactly, we wouldn't even then know I'm you. Like, oh, she used to be in that group, mm, and then yeah. boom, I ain't doing nothing. Or I stopped after I wrote some songs. Oh, she used to write them songs. Yeah. Oh, okay, but, now it's this. It's that's like, true. Yeah. Keep coming. You got to keep reinventing yourself. Yeah, that's true. And you know what, though, Candy? My thing is, for me, for you, I mean, you're married and stuff, and you have a family and all that. For me, I don't have nobody. It's just me. I mean, you know, I have my mama, but that's to me, all the more reasons you should no, have fun going after what you want. You no, got nobody be, you have to worry about. Yeah, but you'll be bored as hell. I don't have no damn body to push me or like, you know, say, let's do this or to come home and throw it off and talk to. If I had somebody to do that, I think I would be much better. See, I always tell people, you got to be your own cheerleader. Stop waiting for somebody to come and cheer for you to motivate you. You got to motivate yourself sometimes. You got to be your own cheerleader. Because yeah, well, if you sit on here, if your if your success depends on you waiting for somebody else to stroke your ego, then it may not ever come together. Well, not I don't like to work. Well, not so much stroke my ego. It's just you know, and cheerleader too kind of sound harsh. But that's true yeah, what you're saying. But but I don't like those. You. I don't like those words. If somebody <laughs> just help me along the way, <laughs> that would be good. But but it's all good. Though. I'm gonna do. It. I mean, I, I push myself finally to you know to get to doing this here, and you know it's just. I don't know. But anyway, you know, it's being beat, like, you're dope. being beat down, honey. Um, so much, honey, and listening to people and shit until it just kind of discourages you. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm well, picking back up. Let me say home. this. Let me say this, Gary, with the T. Your name is known to millions, so there's always something that you're gonna be able to make happen. You just gotta figure out what that is, and, and you gotta be consistent with it. Because here's the other thing: a lot of people like yourself, like me, who we've had some success. Some people like us feel like. Oh, once we put it out, people just supposed to just go get it. No, you got to invest in your marketing. You got to do everything anybody that's really trying to push their business will do. Your name is only going to do so much. 
So yeah. you got to really just go for it. Go full throttle. Gamble on yourself. Put some money into your commercial advertising. Put money into, you know, things. And and you'll see if those things will start paying off. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, too. And, and, you know, people around me was telling me that, too. But I'm like, everybody you meet, oh, I got this idea. I can do this. And I got to tell them, no, I don't hear all that shit. Put me on, and I'll perform. Like James Brown said, you ain't got to give me nothing. Just open the door and let me in, and I'll perform. Damn it. All that other mess stuff, and I don't want to hear all that stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's okay. true, though, what you said. I agree with that, honey. So, mm-hmm. But nevertheless, before we get off, um, Candy, tell us. So, I mean, so what's next for Candy? Uh, well, you said some of the things you had coming up. And um, how could everybody reach Candy? And, and tell us about the show, how they can find the show. Okay, well, I want everybody to tune in to Candy and the Gang. That is um, every Sunday night at 9 p.m. I need y'all to watch. If you ain't seen the other episodes, you got to go back and get your DVR. Oh, matter of fact, get your DVR now and make sure it's recording Candy and the Gang, right? Mm -hmm. Then on May 1st, Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to be coming back. So you got to be going straight from Candy and the Gang into Real Housewives of Atlanta. I know y'all going to get tired of me this year because I'm going to have another one coming up. <laughs> oh, and I'm filming for The Shy season five. So yeah. when The Shy come back on, I need y'all to have that sit on your DVR so you watching that too. Oh, your ass so everywhere. Hey, it's a blessing. I forgot Thank about The, the Shy too. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh Lord. Honey. Thank you, Jesus. I know that's right, honey. I know that's right, honey. I love the ladies and I love honey Mama Joyce and honey all the aunts. I can't think of their name right now. But um, I love them. You know, I love your mom, honey. She's a character, baby. But that's my friend. <laughs> I never get. We were at an event, honey, and all of us sat together. But um, but anyway, well, Candy, I thank you so much, honey, for stopping by. I don't hang. No, get off because I can get that number, honey. I need oh, to call okay. Again, honey. But um, thank you so much for stopping by, honey. You're a jewel, honey. I love you, honey. And um, have you bought any new purses lately? <laughs> Child, I wore my Louis Vuitton shirt for you today. Yeah, so listen to the people that's watching this show. So you know, I used to be very, very frugal. I started to spend a little bit more now. But every time I used to come to the radio station, Gary would dang all dog me out because he didn't feel like I had enough expensive purses. So he was like, "Oh, honey, where's your bag, honey? You need to, I, I, you need to spend some money on the other. This is a mess." Because I saw so the same day, bag a couple of times. I'm like, "Can I'm seeing the same bag?" Because I wasn't really the type of person that like to spend that much money on purses. So finally, I was like, you know what? Next time I come up there, I'm going to have me a new bag. So I'm going to bought me a new bag just for you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> have you bought three? Yes. You bought like, three new. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm going to be ready for his ass next time. Yeah. <laughs> I need everybody to follow me at K-A-N-D-I. That's at Candy on Instagram, Twitter, and, you know, Facebook is Candy Burris. Uh, K-A-N-D-I-B-U-R-R-U-S-S. Now, uh, my website is candyonline.com. But really, you could just get what you need on my Instagram page. Oh, and always check out, speak on it, speak on it, on my YouTube page, Candy Online. Oh, quickly, but Candy, Candy, you still got the um, candy toys, huh? The sex toys? Oh, yes, I You go out there, bedroom candy. You can go to bedroom yeah. candy and get yourself hooked all the way up with your best life. And then I still have my clothing store tags, boutique, T A G S. Um, tagsatl.com is that website as well as my makeup line is candy coated and that's k-a-n-d-i-k-o-a-t-e-d.com that's good just like candy honey all right well candy thanks again for stopping by dearest all right y'all honey thank you for stopping by honey don't forget if you love what you just heard click right here if you didn't like what you heard click right here anyway honey and thank you and you all are so beautiful and we'll do this again on next time